Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweater and I try in this tutorial. I'll be showing how you can easily color grade your images when it comes to Photoshop. And if at all you are interested in learning how you can easily color grade only in Photoshop, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you're watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel. So you're simply going to come to the image that you want to color grade in this case and start working on it in order to color grade it. So just come and right click on the image. Come to open with and come to Photoshop 2025. We can simply drag and drop the raw image into Photoshop for you to start opening up or to open up the raw image in Camera Raw. So as soon as you open up the image in Camera Raw, this is where the first step of color grading has to take place. And in this, you just have to color correct and also correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding your image or regarding your photo so for this case i'm just going to come and first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image so i'm just going to come to the highlights and i'll just drop the highlights and i'll also drop the whites <coughs> then i'll just come and add contrast to the image because i felt like it was somehow a little bit pale and i'll take the blacks down and just come and open up the shadows just like that so after doing this, you can see the before and the after right now. So after correcting the lighting and contrast issues in this first step, I'll just take the highlights down even more. So I'll just open up the shadow slightly and open up the exposure just a tiny bit. So it's a before after. So the next step of color grading is what we tend to do when it comes to uh, the hue, saturation and luminance or the color mixer panel when it comes to Lightroom or even camera raw. So here we have hue saturation and luminous and basically hue is changing a color to look like a color below it or above it right here. And saturation is the intensity of a given color. Luminous is how bright or how dark you want a given color to be. So for example, when we see the hues, you can see you can make the greens towards the yellows by moving the slider towards the left hand side. Or we can make the greens towards the aquas by moving the slider towards the right hand side. So that is how the hues are going to be affecting the image. Saturation is the intensity of a given color. You can increase the intensity of the greens or reduce on the intensity of the greens. Luminous is how bright or how dark you want a given color to be. So after understanding that, it is time to incorporate these techniques into this very image. So for this case, we just want to darken the oranges to have more contrast within her skin tone so we are just slightly going to darken the oranges just like that and we're going to come to the hues and see what works best for us so let's see if at all we play around with the yellows by making the yellows more to the green side you can see it makes the greens better and pop a little bit more so let's see if at all we play around with the greens I feel like this is okay towards the aquas but this tends to make the greens oversaturated so I'm just going to come to the saturation and we are simply going to play around with the saturation or the intensity of the greens in this very image or even play around with the intensity of the yellows in this very image so I feel like that is okay so you can as well come and darken the greens if I totally feel like the greens and the yellows are somehow or a little bit dark for our liking so you can see the image before after before and after so far so after co color correcting or color grading in camera raw we just want to open up the image into photoshop so depending on the colors that you have in the image or the photo that you're editing you can always come and manipulate those colors for example that blue area you can in her hair you can as well manipulate it to your liking so that you can have an image or a color to your taste or preference so you can as well darken the red outfit just like that so it can have more information or more contrast in her outfit so you can see before after before after then also the other thing i forgot to tell you you can as well play around with the temperature so temperature is basically warming up or cooling the image. So you can either move the slider towards the right hand side by increasing the temperature. And you can as well move it towards 
the blue side and that is going to add more blues or blue tones to your image so for this case we're just going to slightly warm this image up a little bit more because I felt like our skin tones were not better and looking like how I was shooting the image. So after understanding that we're just going to come and hit open to open the image or to open the photo in Photoshop. And in Photoshop basically the very first thing you have to do as a photographer is first of all cropping the image. So I just going to come and crop the image in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10. So I feel like that is okay. So I just drag this higher a little bit and hit enter or return. And after cropping the image, we're just going to dive straight into the color grading process. So for this, we just want to have better looking skin tones for our subject. So in order to have better skin tones for our subject, we're simply going to come. So this step we are about to do is always done after you are, or you or after you have finished the skin retouching process. So just create a stamp visible. For example, if I told you I've been editing and you have your frequency separation, or we are assuming that this is our frequency separation group or layer, just have to create a stamp visible by pressing Shift Option Command E on the keyboard for Mac, then for Windows to Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard, create a stamp visible layer. And after doing that, you can see it has created a stamp visible layer. So this is more of a magic layer for everything that we have below here. So just come to this new layer icon and create an empty layer. And after creating it, simply change its blend mode from normal and change it to color. <coughs> and after changing it to color, we are simply going to come and select the layer that we created initially before and simply come to select and come to subject so photoshop is going to automatically help us select the subject and after it is done selecting the subject the next thing is going to be coming and selecting on this empty layer so it is on this empty layer that we want to paint the colors we want the skin to look like so select the empty layer and come to the brushes and right click and get the brush tool make sure the hardness set to zero percent soft round brush is selected the mode is set to normal opacity and flat 100%. So after ensuring that, we just have to zoom into the image. So this step has to be, we have to choose an area on the skin that should represent or that area of the skin that we want the rest of the skin to look like. So I'm just going to zoom in and you can see the face has varying colors and it has this kind of color cast from the grass or from the green environment. That we shot the image in so we just want to sample a color that we want the rest of the skin to look like so i'm just going to hold down the option key on the keyboard for mac then for windows it is the alternate key on the keyboard <coughs> then we are simply going to left click on the color that we want the rest of the skin to look like so we have sampled this color and after sampling that color the next thing is going to be with the brush tool selected, we are simply going to increase on the size of our brush by using the bracket key or the bracket keys on the keyboard. So the box bracket keys are either going to increase or decrease on the size of our brush tool so that we can either paint on a big or small area depending on where we want paint are uh, these colors. So I'm just going to quickly paint on the face. Don't mind if at all, you can see I'm trying to avoid the makeup and always remember to zoom in to the image as you're trying to paint uh, these colors. So I'm just going to paint. And the reason that's why we selected the subject is because we don't want to paint away from the subject or the edges of the subject. So that is a very nice and important thing that you should not so i'll just come and paint on every area that has skin and in this way it is going to be creating that kind of rich even and uniform skin color for our subject so i'm just going to paint on this other hand just like that 
and by just doing this you can see the image is now getting or it is now being transformed so reduce on the size and use a smaller brush to paint on a very small area that you want to perfect or get uniform colors onto so you can see i've just zoomed all the in because i wasn't seeing the areas that i may have accidentally missed out and by zooming in it is going to help me paint into or paint our color for skin tone into those areas so if at all you accidentally paint on a given area and you want to correct or eliminate those colors from a given area so first of all ensure that you have painted on each and every area so if at all you want to correct the image just come and get a razor tool and with the eraser tool selected simply come and make sure the mode is set to brush opacity and the flat 100 percent and we are simply going to come and start erasing or rubbing away and by the way make sure the hardness is set to zero because we want the eraser to be as soft as possible so i'm just going to come and erase from the areas that i don't want uh, the color grading to affect in this case so command minus to zoom out so you can see in the outfit we have or we still have don't mind if at all the effect is looking a little bit awkward at this first step so we are simply going to come and paint and you can see we are now erasing the areas that we may have accidentally painted onto so i'm just going to paint just like that come to the lower part of the body and make sure or ensure that we have painted the colors on each and every area and we haven't messed up certain parts of our image command minus to zoom out remember so after painting or evening out the skin it may seem to be a little bit too much so always come the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that the effect can look better and look natural and realistic so you can see before after before after so after you have done this the next thing is going to be perfecting the skin tone so remember to always press ctrl d or command d to deselect so if at all you have a couple of images you can simply paint on them first and proceed so just come to where you see hue and saturation come to master and simply select the reds and come to where you see lightness and just take the lightness slider down so that it can look better and look natural so that the color is not too much or so that the color is not all over the area so i'm just going to take that down so you can see before after before after it has just cool down the image so when you feel like it is not looking better still always come to where you see your magical color balance and under color balance you can either add a given color for example to the midtones if at all you want to cool down the midtones just come and add a tiny bit of blues to the midtones and that is going to slightly cool down uh, the skin tones so we are done working on the skin and anything that we want to do is simply going forward or going going on with this very tutorial so there is another tool that we have to use to add contrast to the image and that is simply coming to the black and white adjustment layer come to where you see normal and change it from normal to multiply and that is going to darken the image so always come the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that it can look better for us so we are going to come and create a selective color adjustment layer and what selective color basically does is it targets a given color as you can see right here under colors so you can target the reds yellows greens magentas neutrals blacks and whites so depending on the colors in the image you can always target those colors and perfect them to your liking as a photographer so for this case let's first of all 
target uh, rather the greens so when you come and target the greens you can start we have various options like the cyans magentas yellows and blacks so you can see always come and play around with these sliders to see how the, it is going to affect your images so to reset double click on the slider or the pointer so let's see what the magentas are going to or how the magentas are going to be affecting the image or how the yellows are going to be affecting the green so i prefer this kind of look so let's see the blacks so the blacks basically are going to be adding more contrast to the greens then we are going to come to our blacks and you can start to have a couple of black areas in this image so just come to blacks and intensify the blacks just like that to around two and you can make the blacks even better by coming to the science and playing around with the science slider so that we can have that kind of cinematic vibe added to our image and in this case to the black areas so when you feel like the effect is affecting majority of the areas that you don't want to affect you can simply come and get the brush tool and with the brush tool selected switch the brush or this color foreground color to black and with a black brush you can simply come and erase it from the areas it is darkening that you don't want to be affected so remember in photoshop in photoshop black is going to erase or hide so you can simply hide our the effect from affecting the darkest points of the image so you can say before after before and after so the image right now looks great and it looks okay and you can see how we, we have been able to transform it to this new level so if at all you are not comfortable with the colors here you have the liberty to create another stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e on the keyboard and after creating that simply go back to filter and go back to the camera roll filter so that you can adjust these colors better or to your taste so for this case i'll just come back to my color mixer and play around with the hue saturation and luminance for example for the greens i'll just come the hues and see what works best for us so this looks awkward don't overdo the color grading as usual so you can see look for what works best for you as a photographer i feel like that is okay and you can come the saturation because i felt like the oranges on her skin are a little bit over saturated so I'll just reduce on the intensity or the saturation of these colors so you can see before after before after it is just a subtle change but it transforms the image to look better and you can come the shadows and slightly take up the shadows just like that and you can hit enter or return so you can say before and after for just the camera raw filter so with these steps this is how you can easily color grade in photoshop as a beginner and i hope you have learned a few tips here and there and if i told you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if i told you have been watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i see you need more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating